Boop, boop, boop. No, no, no. Oh, oh. oh my. I haven't said this in a long, long, long time. Let's rehouse some tarantulas. Yeah, after that chaotic last Monday's video and that unplanned Friday's video, it is good to finally be back behind this table recording some casual and more normal and planned video. Regarding tarantulas, we are going to rehouse this Holotella longipes or did the name actually change? I'm not sure, maybe the name changed for this species. Also this Brachypelma emilia, you see she molted and it is definitely cramped in that, in this tiny cup. Then next we have two Psalpeus species, one is Cambrigay, it is inside, you will see it once again it's outside, and the other one is, oh no, that's not the, this is the Psalpeus, Psalpeus reduncus, and she is definitely too big for this enclosure, you will see it. Also for good measure we have this Hilobrahi species Vietnam Blue, to make sure that there is some potentially really crazy rehouse action, you know how last Kilobrahis that I uh, that I rehoused how it crazy bolted and I caught it in midair with my catch cup and just throw it inside of the enclosure. Woo! That was really intense and potentially this rehouse can also be intense. Not that I'm a big fan of that, but I need to rehouse it. And also, as I said in last Monday's video, we have four of these. Sicarius tomisoides, six-eyed sand spider that we need to rehouse. I believe that this one is a male and you will see, although I'm not 100% sure, but you see, actually you will better see it if I put it down, you see as it molted, these two legs stay stuck inside of the mold, so spider had to drop them to release itself from the mold. You will see that he is lacking those two legs. His pedipalps are kind of big, so I think that maybe it's a mature male, but I'm not sure how big they actually get. I could easily be wrong because I didn't inspect it up close. But that's why we have this video. And also, last tarantula that I wanted to rehouse is this crazy... Just a second. Okay, scratch that. This crazy Pterinoheus murinus, it is on its back and it is molting actually. So, I mean, it still didn't start to molt, but it is preparing for that. So that means that we will need to rehouse it in some of future videos. Then it will be definitely too big for this tiny enclosure. I will put it here and we will check at the end of the video if it started to actually mold. Now I need to tell you one more information before we start with these rehouses. Next month I will be in UK, I will visit the BTS, by now it is a tradition and also I will hang out with Tarantula Dan and we are going to record a nature adventure video at his local forest. So that is first trip that I have planned and the second trip let me just give you exact information. On June 22nd I will be in Phoenix in Arizona where I will be attending the Pet Fest. For you that don't know what the Pet Fest is, it is like an expo but instead of animals you have the YouTubers that got their channels based around animals. For more information there is a link in the description. You can already buy tickets and there are also VIP tickets and they are all limited so make sure to go and buy them if you want to att attend the Pet Fest. There will be a lot of other creators so I'm sure that you will also find some other names that it is interesting to you. I'm also looking forward to meet Joy from the King of DIY channel. Even though his channel is based around fish and aquariums, I learned a lot about acrylic and how to make enclosures with, with using acrylic and I'm following his channel for a few years now. So I'm really looking forward to that. And also one thing, while there with a couple of friends I will also go to desert to search for tarantulas and scorpions. So that will be a really, really cool video. Now enough of the talk, let's actually rehouse some tarantulas. And the first on the line will be this easiest rehouse ever. It will be Brachypelma Emilia. For her, we just need one slightly bigger, slightly bigger plastic cup. I will put some substrates inside. The standard thing, you know. I'm gonna poke tarantula outside. Ooh, we have a, we have a bolty, bolty Brachypelma. Come on, come on, don't stop now. Hey, don't be afraid. Just go, whoa. <laughs> She's being kind of bolty, who would have thought? You never really expect that from Brachypelma. They usually just casually stroll around and don't do much. So off you go. Boop, boop, boop. No, no, no. Oh, oh. oh my, where did she go? Oh crap, I have no idea where it went. <laughs> Here she is. I never saw Brahipelma bolt that hard. What is this? Come on now, please cooperate. Just go down and no shenanigans, please. 
Come oh, really? Look at her. She really wants to make my life harder. Why are you doing that? Thank you. Close the lid fast. Oh my my. <laughs> Who would have thought that this will be like that? Now I'm really scared of that Hilobrais. I need this label. Da -da -da -da. Let's carry on. The so next one is Holotella Longipes, but that name can be wrong, so check it if you want to be sure. She's, I think, also balty, balty, balty. So with this rough start, I guess I should expect everything. But for the enclosure, same thing. More substrate with kind of pre-made hole. And hmm, should I take? Yeah, I will take a, a bigger tub to make this a bit more controllable. You know, you put the the enclosure inside of the bigger tub so that way if tarantula starts to bolt around you have more time to react at least that's how the theory goes so this is how i will attempt this oh oh no 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 come on what is up with my tarantulas today they're all being super crazy fast today even though this species is known to be fast so I'm not really super surprised here, but I don't know, I don't like it. Now, how can I get this tarantula to go inside of her enclosure? Actually, she was inside of her enclosure at first, but then, then the crazy things started to happen. So now let's try it like this. Got it! You crazy! Look how it is already on top, just waiting to, to bolt outside. But you shall not! Escape! No escape today! Now we will rehouse the Psalopeus species and that will be... If these were crazy, I'm scared to think how the Psalopeus will behave. For them we have a bit more sophisticated enclosure. You know, beside the substrate down there we also need a cork bark here. So they can hide and web around it. I use these small parts. So I also put some substrate inside, but not too much. That will be enough. And then just stick one cork bark like this. I used to glue the cork bark with some hot glue, but I found out that some pale species will just web around and secure it on its own. So it works without the hot glue. But you can use that if you prefer it. Nothing wrong with that. We will start with this Cambrigay and you can see it is already in bolting position. I don't like that. Catch cups, make sure to catch it, although I can probably use my hand because they don't have really strong venom, they are new world. Poke, poke, ooh, that was like hum. <laughs> no, hey. Actually, you can hold on to, no. You can hold on to that, ooh, another bite. I'll turn it. So now just go, oh. Now just go straight up, straight up without bolts. Yes, no, no, not there. Up, more up. Yes, perfect. And while it is still inside, bloop. ah, yes, this went better than expected. She is now safe and sound inside of her new enclosure. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Let's carry on. Quickly the same thing, just substrate, not too much. Nice piece of cork bark, stick it down there. Press the substrate around it so it kind of holds it. And the enclosure number two is ready. Salopeus reduncus, as you see, it is much bigger than the previous one. So hopefully a bit more tame. I will ask you the same thing. Don't bite the straw too much or just bite it a little bit. Go, go, no playing around. You will get a much nicer spot, much nicer place to hang out. Just continue going up. Look, look, small bolts. No, 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 no turning like that. Hey, just continue up. Up, 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 up you go. No, 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 no. Wrong way. Do you know what up means? Hey, no bolts. We said no, 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 please, we had such a good run, just a little bit more, a li yeah, getting there, nice, we got her, she is inside, much more space than, if you compare it with this small cup where she used to be, you see, much more space to move around. And for activities, <laughs> close it off and continue. Next on the menu, potentially the ball test. I don't know how much you can see, but yeah, there are some legs. 
And that's basically it. It is the Hilabrahi species Vietnam Blue. The boltiest. For these species we need a lot of substrate. More than this. All the way up until the ventilation falls. This will be good. And all we need to do is to make a starter hole that Tarantula will use as its burrow. It will just continue going down and dig all the way down. She will do whatever she likes. If we manage to get her inside, that is, of course. I'm already in slight panic mode. I have a better idea, like put like that. And then this piece, this way it will be kind of safer. And also, you can do it like this. So hopefully Tarantula will stay inside if it runs, like in this corner or in this corner. I have no idea if it will help, let's just try it out and see. First I will see how it will react. It is currently ignoring the pokes. Oh, oh, oh no, oh no. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Whoa, she's pulling the straw. Can you see it? She's actually, yeah. She's pulling the... Ah. That was a close one, I was hoping to just put it inside. Come on, little one, help me out with this. I know that you are really, really capable, but... But, please... Oh, no. And you cannot see anything. It will be better like this. I will try to close off her burrow. Maybe better if I turn it like this. Because she will probably do a 180 and bolt straight up. That is my assumption. Okay. Yeah. Slowly and gently. <sighs> she was outsmarted. <laughs> yeah, now you can bolt as much as you like. As long as you are contained within this enclosure. Whew. Nice, this went really, really, really smooth. I have no complaints. Now let's deal with the sand spiders. And they should be super easy, even though they are the most dangerous regarding the venom. Their venom is one of the nastiest spider venom you can, you can encounter. So, a lot of respect, but they don't really bite and they cannot climb glass. So, that's really nice. So I will use these plastic tubs and we will just fill it with sand. As you know, they are they are called sand spiders for a reason. They live in sand and they just dig inside like you will see, you will see. Oh, one minor setback. I don't really have a sand even though I was convinced that I have it. So one time jump and now thanks to some magic, there is some sand in this enclosure. And this, and this, and this. Magic, let's do this. Now since this is one of the most venomous spiders, I should be really really careful come on get out of that sand but thankfully they are not really that aggressive and they cannot claim plastic so that is really good so i think that i will just do it oops i think i will just get them outside like this just few simple pokes and here it is inside of new enclosure this is the first one this one is slightly fatter you see <laughs> let's pokey poke <laughs> so funny <laughs> now third one, I think that this one did it. Oh, never mind, it did. I guess it was the fastest then. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And the boltiest. They look really interesting. And now the final, the one that it seems the biggest. Check it out. Right? I'm not mistaken, it is the biggest. And as I said, it lacks two legs, you see on the left. It only got two instead of four. That's unfortunate, but you know, for spiders, that is not really an issue. Whoa, 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 <laughs> This one is definitely, definitely got bigger leg span. Check it out. You see, this is number one and this is number two. And almost like it got some different coloration. It's hard to tell, honestly. Yeah, I think that now we will be able to see. You see the color on this one and compare it to this color. Definitely different, right? And let's check those pedipalps. Hmm, hard to tell. I will try to move it a bit. You see, they really aren't aggressive type. They mostly ignore. Check those penny pups. What do you think? Hard to tell. But here they are, all four of them, looking really nice. And now I don't need to be scared of an escape for some time because this one with this 
kind of big leg span it was maybe able to reach the edge better safe than sore you know how they say i would like to wait for them to to bury in the sand Now you see all of them are hiding except this one. I don't know what he is waiting for while well, this one was doing some funny things. It couldn't really cover itself because it is so close to the to the edge. So it was like scratching the plastic and searching for sand. But I can move them all aside. And since this is actually second day, there wasn't any magic. I actually had to go outside and get the sand. No magic involved, but now you can check it out. This guy or girl molted and here is the malt. Multi malt malt. Now I can check. I can check if it is male or female. If you are curious, I will post a picture on the Instagram so you can go and check it out. And drop a follow while you are there. This pissed off OBT will be a bit less pissed off. Well I doubt that, but it is worth trying. So I hope you enjoyed this this rehouse video. If you did, thumbs up and comment something. If you want to support this channel even more, there's a Patreon page. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe by uploading Monday and Friday. So see you again soon. Bye! <laughs>